Hey there, thanks for watching. My name is Christiana and this channel is The Well-Behaved Wallet where my mission is to love the life I have while building the life of my dreams. I am here today to share with you my seven, I think there's seven, seven favorite movies of Christmas. And this is one of my most favorite things to talk about because I feel like movies are a way to um, experience the holiday season again and again at any time, but also they're kind of like a mental like memory marker because I remember where I was when I first saw the movie and I associate different things that were happening um, in my life with the movie and the time that I watched it. So here are my top seven favorite Christmas movies. My top favorite Christmas movie, and I'm going to go kind of chronologically <laughs> in order of how I remember them. So that would be number one is the movie The Snowman, which is an animated story by Raymond Briggs. Um, it's a silent movie, but there is music throughout and it's, it's a cartoon, so it's maybe 30 minutes long. Um, and there's one song in the middle, it's very well known. Um, it's walking in the air. And I love this movie because for a couple of reasons, it's just very heartwarming. It's a story of a boy who, um, builds a snowman, falls asleep and the snowman comes to life. They go off and they have these fantastic adventures. He, um, the snowman gives him a scarf, um, to remember his adventures and he goes to sleep and he wakes up and the snowman has melted. So it's kind of like, but he still has a scarf kind of, um, a symbol of childhood, um, and passing into adulthood and the melting of old childhood dreams, but keeping that memory. So that's kind of essentially why I like it. But the memory I have of this movie is the following. So growing up, I had, we went to a church that was about half an hour away and we would be playing, I would be playing uh, violin and my mom would be singing in the choir. And on Christmas, um, Christmas Eve, we would have, there would be two services. There was like a five o'clock or maybe seven o'clock and a midnight service at 10. And the movie, The Snowman, this is before, you know, DVDs, you could watch anything on YouTube. And the only way you could catch a movie if you didn't have it on VHS was to see it you know, on TV. Um, there was no DVR, there was no recording. Uh, you had to actually be there to push the button if you wanted to record something. So I first saw this movie when I was young and I just caught like the end of it. I was maybe like seven or eight. And I'm like, oh, it's so beautiful. I think they maybe showed it to us in, um, in elementary school and I remember just loving it and feeling like I was in entirely immersed in the experience of this video uh, or this movie and I saw it again on TV and I was like oh my gosh like it's, a, it's actually on TV and I was so excited and this was Christmas Eve so every year I would try to like search around to catch that um, that movie on Christmas Eve and we would maybe be home for it or maybe not or maybe just home for like the, the last half of it before we had to go back to the next service so I would like it would be like a rush I'd be like come on let's go I want to get home for this moment like I didn't know you have to look at a tv guide to figure out when it was airing um so that was sort of, I, I would, that was my goal every year was to get home for the snowman. So my mom was like sick of it. She thought it was kind of funny, but like, um, eventually it was, you know, then, then we got the DVD, uh, one year she gave that to me for Christmas and I was like, Oh no, I can watch it whenever. But of course you only, things are only special, um, when they're in high demand or, you know, when they're less rare. So it became less special now that I had the DVD. Uh, so <laughs> that, um, Although it became tradition that I would watch The Snowman every Christmas Eve. And that was something that I um, enjoyed having the power to be able to do. <laughs> after like not having, after wanting to catch it, um, wanting to find it on, on network TV. So that, it's kind of a way to say, hey, look how far we've gone. <laughs> we can watch it whenever, you don't have to run away. But that was a, a really cherished memory of my childhood. And that's the movie that played a part in it. My next favorite Christmas movie is the classic Bells of St. Mary's. Um, so I, I guess it's Ingrid Bergman and she plays a nun that's trying to save the cathedral that she's in. Um, and that's her plight uh, over the Christmas season. So I have memories of watching this movie with my mom um, as she was sort of feverishly trying to finish the gifts that she was making for her family. And that was a... Um, these placemats and she'd cut out flowers and um, glued the flowers to the placemats and then was using like puff paint to outline them. <laughs> so she was like making them before our trip 
our road trip up to Michigan. So I was, I think maybe seven or eight at the time. And I was helping her out. I was like doing the outline. She it was like an assembly line. Like she would take the placemat, decide where the flowers would glow, go glue them on. And then I would outline and puff paint. And we were doing this and watching the movie, the bells of St. Mary's. And we were trying to get this all done before we had to get in the car to go drive to Michigan to spend Christmas with her family. So I just have fond memories of like working against the clock to get that done. The next movie is terribly unconventional, but I love it. And I always associate this movie with Christmas. And that is the Star Wars movie, The Empire Strikes Back. The reason I associate this with Christmas is because my cousins in Michigan had a VHS copy of this movie. And they would watch it all the time when we came to visit um, for Christmas. So (laughs) that's why I associate that with, uh, with Christmas time. And... It's also the the Star Wars movie that I've seen the most because they would want to watch it every year and over and over and over again. So I'm like, all right, let's watch it. And now I guess I can appreciate it more as an adult, but it will always remind me of the Christmas season because of that. My next favorite Christmas movie is another sort of modern day classic. Home Alone. <laughs> so I remember where I was when I saw that, um, I, because I'm that old. Uh, so I was in the movie theater with my friend who had brought me up to her sort of country house in the Poconos, um, and we saw that in the theater, and I thought it was the funniest thing ever. I was very young at the time. <laughs> uh, very, you know, I'm not that old, <laughs> but uh, I loved it. Uh, I thought it was just the best, and I really enjoyed that movie, and it was a good trip. Um, I felt kind of bad because I got a little bit homesick <laughs> at the time. But I, again, I associate it with great memories of like the pine trees and uh, being in Pennsylvania with them. So it was very exciting. And that is one of my top favorite Christmas movies for that. Next reason. favorite Christmas movie is another classic, uh, White Christmas. And I love this movie for uh, so many reasons. So there's so many great musical numbers in there. It's Danny Kay and Bing Crosby, uh, Vera Ellen and Rosemary Clooney. And oh, so many good and dance numbers as well. So I love the best things happen when you're dancing, seeing Danny Kaye and Vera Ellen dance. Um, I love the song, the dance number choreography was also very good. Like I didn't realize that number was from that movie. Um, I heard it at, at a summer camp. Some kids were singing it and I thought it was like this, you know, avant-garde movie. No, it's White Christmas. So I love that number. Um, I love this song. Um count your blessings instead of sheep uh and my mom used to sing that to me when we were going when i was going to bed and i I didn't realize again that that song was in that movie so that's another great one that i love and i also like the number of seeing rosemary clooney sing the love um you did me wrong number which there i feel like it covers a range of different emotions you've got the avant-garde the classic dance the spurned woman Oh, and the childhood lullaby. So I love how they're all sort of tied together in one like delicious feast um, for for the soul. Uh, and I love the white white Christmas number at the end. Uh, again, it's just it's a classic Hollywood movie. You have to appreciate it for the time and the era in which it was made. Um, but I really enjoy it, and I try to watch that every Christmas. Usually while I'm baking, I'll have it on in the background, and that just says Christmas to me. My next favorite Christmas movie is another classic, which I don't know if many people have heard of this one, but it's The Lion in Winter with Peter O'Toole and the, the classic, the, the original, the right version, <laughs> Peter O'Toole and Catherine Hepburn, uh, which is set around Christmas time when um, Peter O'Toole is Henry the, I forget what number, Henry the whatever lets his wife, Eleanor of Aquitaine, out of uh, the jail where she's, he's keeping her. Uh, and it's sort of a great, like, family drama. Uh, <laughs> the wine is spiced and we're the fat that's in the fire. Something like that is a classic line. Uh, my friend, uh, again, my best friend showed that to me. We actually watched it for the first time in the summer um, when we were staying at her a beach house that she'd rented for this, for this season uh, for a week. And so I think about the summer um, when I think about that movie but it is set in Christmas so it it could be a great Christmas movie as well. Final Christmas movie that I like to watch is a very adult in content but that's Bad Santa with uh, Billy Bob Thornton and I really think that it tells a great story of redemption and (laughs) and sort of learning to to overcome your own selfish desires for the greater good but it's very crude and (laughs) 
very uh, explicit, so I would not recommend that for children, but it is a movie that I associate with the Christmas season. So all in all, I love watching movies around the holidays because they just, they're, they're a fabulous tradition that helps you um, sort of get into the, the holiday mood and mode, um, and uh, they sort of capture all your memories um, and help you, I guess, celebrate. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below your favorite holiday movie and how you like uh, to watch it, why it's your favorite. Um, and as always, I thank you for watching and I hope you'll keep watching. Bye.